Hey, hey, hey. So we're talking all things third eye today. Third eye, right? You hear about this all the time, right? Open your third eye. Is your third eye open? My third eye is open. Oh my gosh, this is what happened to me after my third eye opened. So we're going to talk not just about opening that third eye, because I think there's plenty out there about that. But I want to talk a little bit about balancing, about aligning, about making sure it's not blocked. Like, Let's make sure that we're utilizing our third eye in the way that we should, all right? My name is Dr. Lisa Brewer. I'm a doctor of metaphysics and divinity. I cannot write your prescription, but I can sure give you a good essential oil or herb to use. Now, listen, um, the purpose of what is our third eye, right? So um, it is the pineal gland. It is the metaphysical aspect of the pineal gland. So there is a physical third eye within our brain you can look this up, pineal gland, okay? Look it up. Um, you'll see it. It's been depicted like the ancient Egyptians or the Kemets, they, the eye of Horus. It literally, if you superimpose that on a cross cut of the brain, the human brain, you'll find that they already understood where the pineal gland or the third eye was. It is that metaphysical area that gives you sight, that gives you intuition, that gives you um, vision beyond what your two physical eyes can see. So when your when your third eye or your anja, your third eye or your anja chakra is balanced, you're able to really tune into to trust your intuition, your imagination. You have great clarity in life, great self awareness, emotional balance. You really have a trust of your inner knowledge, right? And so it's you're able to make some, a lot easier the balanced decisions. This is kind of the culmination of a lot of the other chakras within our system. And as these are aligned and you're trusting your intuition, then when you have that quote unquote gut feeling, it's not based on fear. It's not based on um, a low self-esteem. It's not based on all those things. It is really, you're able to tune into your higher self that is eternal and can see, okay, can see forwards and backwards and it has a good sense or a real true sense, I should say, of what is of your highest good and of your best life. Um, you're open to different perspectives. You're able to receive and process and integrate wisdom um, beyond just the 3D. Now, when that sixth chakra is blocked though, okay, um, you lose that connection with inner wisdom. So a lot of times people will say, I just don't feel like I'm able to make good choices. Um, physically, you might have a lot of migraines. You might have like brain issues. You might have um, ocular uh, uh, issues, so issues with your eyes. You're feeling probably stuck. You're feeling like you just can't go. Like, it's like, oh, I don't even know what to do. Um you probably look at the world from a perspective of because you don't trust your own inner wisdom, you're always looking for external validation or external guidance. And I'm not saying that we don't need guidance because, you know, I have a guru. Um, I have friends that I really value their input. Um, but you, this is to a different degree where you're just unable to make the decision and you're just going willy nilly, willy nilly. We're seeing this with the higher chakras, right? That one of the reasons or ways, you know, that they're blocked or they're out of alignment is there's no stability. And this is why I started with the lower chakras. I know we're talking about the third eye, but I hear me out. The reason why I start with the lower chakras first is because if you have no foundation down here, you're going to go, blah, 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 you know, back and forth, back and forth. You're going to be swayed by everything that comes along. So, but if the if the energy isn't flowing correctly either, you're still going to be swayed, right? So when you don't have this inner guidance, the immediacy of what's going on right in front of you blocks your view of the bigger picture. So, the, and this can block manifestation quite easily because if you're solely focused on what's happening right here, you're not seeing where it might be playing into the bigger picture of getting exactly what you're manifesting. And so there could be like depression and things like that of that blocked energy. So again, physical manifestations are things like eye strain, headaches, migraines, dizziness, um, clogged sinuses, right? Hearing issues, memory issues, 
anxiety, confusion, insomnia, or nightmares can also be a lot of that, right? So a lot of things that you can see, that you can feel, right, that 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 are going wrong physically. Now, Anja, the word Anja means command. Oh, excuse me. So it's not pronounced Anja. I'm so bad. Agya. 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 It's the chakra that's the focal point for meditation. You, because this is the, the, the word means command, literally this is the command post for creating your life. So this is probably one of the most important chakras that you can align. This is in like a resonance with your sacral chakra. So remember your sacral chakra is for creativity. When your third eye chakra is not like working correctly, you don't know what to create. You're doubting your vision. You're doubting your imagination. You're doubting your wisdom. You're doubting your direction. So you do not have the capability to command your life, to command the world around you, the matrix, to behave in the way that you wish for it to behave. It, you might not be ready to really grasp the fact that it is less an out, an external creator that has jurisdiction over how your life goes, and it is very much you, right? So I'm going to say that again. It is much less, if not almost none, <laughs> an external creator that has the say so over your life it is you i'm going to say to you um the few things to balance your third eye yoga wise the child's pose downward facing dog pose the eagle pose all of those are good yoga poses to help balance your third eye mantras right are i trust my inner wisdom my intuition guides me on the right path. I feel balanced and aware. I have clear vision. I, 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 my intuition is on point. You know, things of that nature, right? That are going to bolster that energy. So we're going to figure, so we're going to use those in order to um, balance like the mantras, right? When you are meditating, Use the a higher frequency, third eye frequency um, in the background music and focus in on allowing like this to be a lens to open up your third eye, like literally feel, see your third eye opening up so you can see a vision, so you can see an imagination, so you can see into the other realm and for some of you, it's not going to be actually sight sight. It's going to be more of a feeling. That's okay. But that you can sense a future. So you can sense a higher life for yourself. Crystals like the amethyst or celestite or lapis lazuli, all those crystals are going to help you with your third eye and third eye sight as well. Really practice keeping these this, this um, agya in balance. And so that you can see clearly, we all have a gift of intuition. I want you to begin to use it. That's what I have for you today. We're going to work on the crown chakra next. And until next time, never forget, give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. See you soon. Bye.